guys, what is up and welcome to the Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. Um, I'm going to start right off, but don't forget to like this channel and subscribe, because obviously people aren't watching the last like two minutes of my videos, for obvious reasons that I'm just rambling. So don't forget to do that, please. I need all the support I can get here, really. Uh, so yeah, anyway, watching this battle here, I go against one of our group admins, uh, Owen or Sir Higgins. Um, he's using definitely a UU team, or closely to an RU really. The only thing that's like legitimately like somewhat BL is Ninetales, which is borderline because of its um, ability, not for the poke itself. And also the Dragon. I hate the Dragon. It's it's horrendously hard to beat down, really. Um, and look at my team. I use uh, Gel Fox. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying something new with Delphox. It's definitely, a, I get why people aren't using it, but I kind of want to just experiment a little with it because it's so unpredictable. So, anyway, look at this start out. Both Archeops. I was going for a knockoff here, hoping it wasn't scarfed, or if it was scarfed, that I could at least take it out. But no, he got the Citrus Berry, which pretty much puts me in a good position here because, because now he's, the, the defeat is activated, which rendered that one useless. Archeop is a huge threat for my team, so I was really glad that that worked out. So anyway, the Death Claw. I should have really stayed in here and just knocked off that Life Orb, because Dragigon does a lot of damage. I mean, I'm bringing in my Steelix here to just soak him. Um, luckily for me, I went for Thunder Fang. If we gone for Fire Fang, first off, he probably, he most likely would have win here. Even though it was a crit, sure. Um, so anyway, Stealth Rocks, as usual, and then I'm gonna rest up, uh, hoping not for another crit. And, ugh, ugh, that damage. Dragon is definitely a threat to be reckoned with, for sure, for sure. So anyway, I'm gonna get my stuff back up, and now I'm going to do the usual thing and Dragon Tail him out of here. Just to actually force him to switch out because I have actually nothing to like take um, Dragon like well. Plus, I know it has Sucker Punch and stuff like that, which means that I can't bring my Hill Disc to uh, actually try to win against him. But look, my usual luck here. Yes, thank you, Houndoom. How horrendous. So, anyway, I was predicting him to go for a nasty plot, maybe. So, I was going for another Dragon Tail. Pretty much just sacking my Steelix here. I have nothing to take that well anyway. So yeah, risky move. Um, I had very little to choose between here. So I go for my Cabal. Um, knowing that he still got his um, Archeops left, so I can't go for Earthquake, which I wanted to do. Um, so luckily for me, I did the right prediction here and just go for a U-turn. So yeah, that could go, went that, like very bad for me, really. <laughs> but luckily for me, um, he did suspect an earthquake, which was the right like move to predict. Uh, so anyway, going to my mashup, I'm pretty much just going for um, the knockoff here, if I'm wrong correctly. No, I take I expect the, I expect the earthquake. Right, this was like the worst move I ever did. Uh, expecting an earthquake and getting hit by dynamic punch, which does a lot of damage, which pretty much means that I know that it's a choice bandit one. My air balloon pops, and I was going for grass knot. I was fairly sure that this would actually take it out. Yeah, why? And I get the choice band. No, no. <laughs> no! Which means that this Stealth Fox is just, it's dead, it's done. I should have probably sacked the there, consider the circumstances, but no. I tried to go for a bullet punch here. Uh, I was fairly sure I could take it out. But no! It survives with 4 HP. <laughs> and that dynamic punch. Ooh. So now I'm confused again. I have nothing to choose from, obviously, so I'm going for the bullet punch again. I was very lucky here, I didn't uh, hit myself in confusion. That would definitely have taken me out, obviously. 
Um, and yeah, now I'm just decided to sack off my. Um, um, sorry, what is it called? Oh, my champion. Uh, a little lucky here. Um, he was probably expecting me to switch out, so going for a solar beam. I still have maxed the uh, EV in special defense plus careful and assault vest. So I actually managed to hang on by 1 HP and get the knockoff out. Mm. <laughs> so freaking lucky. So I'm going for a bullet punch here. And yes, it hits, but no, it survives. And damn. <laughs> Crap. But yeah, at least it kind of weighed out considering that my, like I said, my um, Del Fox is, uh, it's dead. So now I know at least that um, um, he has nothing to switch into an Earthquake, which is like, good for me. Kind of hope that I will just flag on instead of this uh, at the moment, even though it's very much stronger. So anyway, going to drag on. Um, I decide actually to switch out here. I don't want to get a sucker punch and get down. So I'm going to decide to suck off my um, Del Fox here. And, ooh, Sun Boosted Fire Fang. I didn't expect to survive anyway, but, ooh, that damage. So I'm going to my Clint. For obvious reason, I'm just going to tux it off, really. And. Uh, which he brings in the Typhlosion. <laughs> and as you guys saw my previous battle, you know, if you saw that, you probably know how this one works. It's like a Pimp Knight set, really. The Toxic Protect, Wish, and Heal Bell. Um, I know the Eruption isn't a choice to bring in now uh, because of the Toxic, so I'm just gonna protect myself, see what he goes for. I, I expect it to be. Um, um, Spect instead of uh, Scarf to consider that I am. Or he is faster, nevertheless. Uh, so, anyway, that did a lot. That did over 50%. And I am maxed EVID in special defense. Plus Calm. So, yeah, and plus. Uh, a, uh, oh, God. Um, EVID in uh, HP2. So, I can't take two of those. So, I can only stall him. I should expect him go for him, going for uh, the free dog here, the Fallout um, <laughs> rapper or Radio Man. But the same way, I couldn't risk getting another Lava Plume and pretty much just sacking my Audino. So yeah. Anyway, I have like nothing really to choose from here. I can pretty much be in a good position if I decide to uh, sack him. But I can't switch into anything, so I'm kind of hoping it's going for a nasty plot and try to set up on me. So I just can bring in my um, Archeops and just go for the Earthquake and just cleanse the field, really. Uh, so anyway, getting the usual Toxic. Uh, the Solar Power is wearing the Hunger down, but it also does a lot of damage. And like I said, there's nothing real I can do here. Uh, the Solar Power will take me out, so I'm just going to stall. As best as I can. And he's got a Destiny Bond. Which... Kinda cool. Um, I don't have an attacking move. Probably would work better if it ha if I had. Um, but yeah, the Solar Power and Toxic will wear him down, as I said there. Uh, I actually like Houndoom. It's, this is the first time I'm eating a Mega Houndoom. And consider how much damage that does. I mean, it's horrendously strong. So it's definitely a threat to be reckoned with. Plus it's so fast, it's a very few pokes that actually can uh, outspeed it. Plus the necessity of getting nasty plots, which means if you, get, if you expect someone to switch out, you can just uh, store up your power and become even stronger, really. Um, so my Audino actually ending up just winning against this um, Houndoom. I thought I'd never seen that, like, ever. 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 <laughs> and so far Maudino is doing great, it's it's winning because it's hard to take down, but I mean, if you would have continued with um, the Typhlosion, you probably would have ended up actually losing because of that. So anyway, going Focus Blast and hitting, that is bye bye, I expect Focus Blast is nothing to joke around with. 
And that should not take out. I thought it was gonna take out. Alright, anyway. Uh, going for my Cabal here. Um, and just, like I said, I can go for a safe uh, Earthquake. I am supposed to have Rock Slide on this, but uh, for some reason I forgot to put it in there. Instead of Stone Edge, I don't wanna have, like be able to risk uh, missing. So yeah, I was kinda hoping that I could uh, take it out here with an Earthquake. But also I was expecting the Sucker Punch maybe. If I had a Sucker Punch, it would most likely take me out. And my Hillisk wouldn't be able to uh, actually win against this one. But the only one I got left is my Slowbro, I think. So I still would have won in the end. But at least... Oh no, I didn't bring in my Slowbro this time. So I actually barely win there. I think this is a 1-0 against Owen. So even though it might have looked like a close battle, um, it still was... I was in a good position the whole game. Um, and that is why I win too, really. Um, my... My Delphox is... Oof. <laughs> I'm gonna try him out some more time, but this game it was really just a waste of space, if I say so myself. Uh, but also, not to... I would need to compliment Owen too. I mean, that Ruggagon is so tough to deal with. It's... wow. I, I officially hate that poke now. I really do. The Life Orb, Share Force combination is deadly. It's really deadly. And people might not use it because you, they think there's, it's slow and can't like soak damage or anything like that. Look at it! It's strong. It's really strong and sure it's not fast enough but the defenses are up there. They are able to soak almost anything and then retaliate with a double damage plus the exit to Sucker Punch. Which means that it's it has its priorities to really, really, really take out pokes. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for the game. I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, and for you guys who are still watching and watching this rambling, like I said, there aren't too many that does that. Don't forget to, like I said in the beginning of this game, um, subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, and also join our Facebook group on Facebook, where we trade Pokemon and battle multi-battles daily. Uh, with both me and Owen, who is one of our admins, and also Lauren, who's starting up a new YouTube channel, and of course the Pimp Knight and Lady Crimson. So, like I said, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, thanks for all the support, and have a nice day. Bye.